So how many times can I do a, uh, a, the, the, the intro and, and not have it? <laughs> I don't know, but we're live, so give it a shot. Oh, we're, we're live. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Good evening, folks, and welcome to another episode of Cyberpunk Red. <laughs> I'm your game show. No, I'm not your game show host. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Scott, the, the game god. Mm-hmm. The overlord, the... I'm a producer. <laughs> we should... Oh, oh, there should be a poser gang in Night City who all dress like different game show hosts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be... Uh, Somebody write that down. <laughs> got it. I'm the note taker. Oh, two of us. <laughs> Poser gang. <laughs> look like <laughs> game show hosts. Good evening. I am Fiberpunk. I am the uh, mysterious voice uh, that's uh, whispering into your ears. And um, the, like a little like uh, Charlie from Charlie's Angels that way. Hi, Charlie. And... Uh, and I'm running a game of cyberpunk tonight. <laughs> uh, Allison, please say hello. Hi, my name is Allison. I am here playing Inks. Don't worry. There's the rest of them will try to like make this track this game go off the rails. I I'm here to steady the steady everything, keep everyone on track. Like <laughs> And all the way from the other side of the planet. Mm -hmm. Hello, Luke. Hey, how you going? I'm going to play Zed today. Uh, he's a mercenary. Yeah. Great. <laughs> and we are uh, continuing, perhaps wrapping up tonight, our um, playthrough um, of um, Black Dog. Well, to be fair, I haven't been here, so I'd forget about me, too. <laughs> But you already introduced yourself. Did I? I heard it. No. no Did she I? No. No. I, I I was throwing my voice across the ether into her into her little uh, 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 box there. I am Shannon playing Zara, and I'm actually here tonight. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Playing and streaming at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. she's, she's our technical expert. Well, uh, experts throwing it a little far. <laughs> <laughs> Creative expert? Uh, Remember the keys until it works expert? Yeah. <laughs> Throw it back together 20 minutes before we start. spaghetti on the wall? Let's see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if anything looks off or rough, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Supposed to be that way. It's it's the look we're going for. Like, this cam being just a little too big outside of the frame, you don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who remembers where we left off? Not me. We just finished uh, the fight at the gas station. The rest stop. Yep, the rest stop. Rest. And there was the, the 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 skeleton that was sitting in there, just looking like this <laughs> throughout the entire battle. <laughs> Okay, yeah, and, and some grenades and all that were some nice explosions. And, and Zara was high. Well, she wasn't high. She was just <laughs> sleeping off her hangover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me. You guys have a body to loot still. Okay, so we'll resolve that. Um, the uh, motorcycle that he was driving is wrecked. Uh, you might be able to salvage some parts out of it. Or uh, you have a option, now that you have a tech in the group, that Jinx could jerry-rig it, uh, which is a way to make any broken machine work again 
for only one hour. And after one hour, it completely falls apart. That's very And specific. is not even salvageable. <laughs> mm. Might as well take the pots, I guess. That's what I'm thinking, too. Scavenge her parts off the motorcycle, scavenge her parts off the person that wasn't completely obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does the uh, skeleton have, like, a coffee cup? <laughs> I want the uh, yeah, but it's filled with it's filled with tear gas do now. It... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh. I'd say bottle it. We can. Nice. Use as a uh, <laughs> makeshift weapon. <laughs> Take a straw, suck out, the, suck the tear gas out of the air, and then. I think it just take a plastic back. bottle and then push it a bit, and then let it. Anybody's got a bellows cramp? <laughs> okay. Uh, first to get uh, what you can out of uh, the motorcycle. I would like to see a die roll, please. Um. So give me. A ten sider. Uh, Jinx is doing this, please. Add your four points uh, for being a tech and your land vehicle skill. Land vehicle, do I use stat level or total? Total. Total. Twelve. Oh. Twelve. All plus four plus what one? Land, Land vehicle, vehicle tech. Right. If you if you don't have it, then you're using your tech stat instead. Twenty four. Which is probably a woo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Five rank. So you get a uh, thousand. So you get a thousand eddies worth of vehicle parts and raw materials. Which is not nothing. <laughs> uh, from the body it's from the body itself, uh you get uh you can uh his armor was a little beaten up, so you probably don't want that. Uh, he did have a couple of other weapons. He has a uh, Wakatashi. What? Wakazaki? Wakatashi. Wakatashi. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the uh, short sword that's paired with a katana. That is going to be a. Uh, medium melee weapon, but it is excellent quality mm. because it is the shortened version of the mono katana. Cool. Okay, and he also had the generic. Uh, what's it called? Ah, ah, pistol! <laughs> he has a... Yeah, he has a heavy pistol. And... Oh... Hey, Jason, uh, roll me Yo. a ten cider. Okay. Ten. He has a thousand eddies Woo in his wallet. That, 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 that's a big wallet, or is it on a data chip? <laughs> um, we'll say that it's. Uh, in 
Uh, 100 Eddie Bills. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, yeah, he was... Seems that uh, whatever he was here to do, he was paid beforehand. All right, is there anything else that you guys want to do at this rest stop now that you have looted a coffee cup <laughs> and stripped his motorcycle? Uh, the vending machines, is there any uh, mechanics with the vending machines? Are there any cameras anywhere, anything like that? Ooh, good idea. Um, if you spend a luck point, the answer will be yes. I will spend a luck point. <laughs> okay. Uh, these vendits uh, were built to uh, discourage uh, looting and uh, thievery. So uh, one of them is equipped with its own flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> that pops out of the top. Is not an uncommon feature for Vendit machines. But yeah, you can loot a flamethrower and uh, uh, later rebuild it into a sidearm or uh, a vehicle mounted weapon if you like. You've got the parts for it. Nice. And it burns the same and it burns the same fuel that uh, your vehicles do. The nice. Chew 2 biofuel. Sweet. So, while while she's doing that, I'm actually going to take the jacket and the helmet off of uh, off of the body, and I'm going yeah. to put the coat and the, the 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 helmet on the skeleton. <laughs> okay. Just so that way, yeah. if, if they, just so that way, it kind of makes them think that okay, when the next group comes through that they they see the 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 skeleton sitting there thinking that there was their compatriot and he's just kind of waiting things out or waiting for them and maybe it'll be a bit of a distraction for him okay the <laughs> the skeleton is now wearing motorcycle leathers and i would like you to give me a skill roll uh just for the chuckles <laughs> Yeah, um, I want you to roll me your wardrobe and style skill, which is a cool. Yes, okay. I rolled another 10. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Add 5 to that, plus 7, so 22. <laughs> Okay, are you sure that you don't want to take the skeleton with you? Because this is the best dressed skeleton you have ever seen in your life. He looks better dead than he did a lot. <laughs> I'm a okay, pilot. Oh, I was just saying, I was just like, the, 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 the first thing that I, that I just pictured myself, I, if anybody has ever seen the movie Short Circuit... Yep. And, uh, Johnny Five is sitting in the front and he just has the, that stick arm sticks out and goes, yo! <laughs> out the window <laughs> of the van. <laughs> okay, I've got a I've got a technical question for uh, both Zara and for Zed. Yep. Alright, how do you want to uh, distribute your combat awareness points? Uh, you each have four points to spread around, and as solos, here are your options. You can put that into damage deflection, which uh, works like extra armor. You can put that into fumble recovery, uh, which is a single use. Uh, initiative reaction, which is a bonus to your initiative. Precision attack, which is a bonus on your to hit rolls. Spot weakness, which is a bonus to your damage rolls, or threat detection, which is a bonus to your perception. We can only put it into one? No, you got four points, so you can spread them around. I want two in precision attack and two in spot weakness. 
All right. Unfortunately, uh, precision attack requires at least three points. So you can put well, three in precision attack and one in spot weakness. You didn't say that. <laughs> so let's go yeah. through three and one. I mean that way. Okay. So <laughs> Zara, until you decide otherwise, gets a plus one on all of her attack rolls and plus one on all of her damage rolls. I'm going to do a battle awareness still. Okay. You both. Uh, so you get four points to your perception checks. Yep. All right. Okay. It is now mid morning. The thing to remember is that I have a flamethrower now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you do. I bought extra gas before we left, so I have extra gas, too. Good point. I had forgotten that. <laughs> you do have extra points. But I think the important uh, thing to take away mm -hmm. uh, is that Calvary has a pet skeleton. <laughs> what are you naming it, Calvary? Oh... Greg. Greg? I know. Being gregarious. I know I know some Gregs I'd like to see as a skeleton, so I approve. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you guys remember where you're headed? Do you we're, heading, uh, we're, we're heading to New Mexico, specifically Alamogordo. Correct. In sunny New Mexico. No, in sunny Nevada. Wait, <laughs> I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Is Alamogordo in <laughs> Nevada or New Mexico? I oh, was no. not informed that geography would be a part of the show tonight, so I'm no going freak. to have to respectfully leave. <laughs> I'm Australian, what do I know? <laughs> oh, Google, help me! Uh, hey, Alamo New, Mexico. New Mexico! New Mexico! Okay. I typed right. in. Uh, I knew I had e. my notes to write. <laughs> I had E.T. Atari buried because Jason kept talking about that, and I'm like, okay, where's that at? <laughs> All right. Well, but you have to go through Nevada to get there. So, um, the next landmark that you reach is the uh, border, and uh, on the Californian side, uh, you've got uh, uh, armed guards and uh, checkpoints, and uh, but those are all for the vehicles that are coming into the Cal the Californias. Going out to the free state of Nevada, there's like a kiosk with some pamphlets and brochures Stop on the side of the road. Every pamphlet and every brochure. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's um, uh, a lot of flyers for uh, brothels and casinos and uh, biosculpting. Because uh, Vegas is also renowned for having uh, some of the best biosculpting clinics in the world. And there is one particular pamphlet uh, which reads, uh, Welcome to the free state of Nevada. Our Border Patrol... Agents all carry machine guns. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all it says. <laughs> so as you drive uh, in, as you drive into Nevada, you pass a billboard on the side of the road that reads, 
Welcome to Nevada. Almost everything is legal here. <laughs> Zara will kind of elbow Calvary and point to the sign and wink, smile. <laughs> Maybe we can end your dry spell here. <laughs> I'm just saying, ever since the dame in the tower, man, I've had some bad luck. I just figured that's I'll why I'll just you turn have back to the dry and sulk. <laughs> uh, Calvary, being a uh, cop himself, does at least know the reputation. Um, Nevada basically uh, doesn't have uh, much in the way of uh, uh, state police force or law enforcement because almost everything is legal, but they do have Border Patrol agents, and the Border Patrol agents are all equipped with military-grade weapons. Oh, God. Is it like Kansas where they try to trick you into staying? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, I went to Kansas. And first off, going from Nebraska to Kansas, you go downhill the entire way. Which, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> like going into a drain, right? Then you get to Kansas, <laughs> and there are no road signs anywhere. So you don't know where you're going because there are no road signs anywhere. So you can't figure out if you're on the right path or not. And I think it's a way for them to keep visitors longer so that you have to buy motel rooms and stuff. It's... It's just, it's down, 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 and no signs anywhere. Why would you need a sign to figure out where you are? You know, it's even with, like, GPS, you're like, well, it helps if there's a sign, and they're like, no. Here's a hotel, though. You can stay there all night. Well, the other thing with Kansas, too, is that when it gets dark, you actually see the stars, so you can't really navigate because no one outside of the state of Kansas knows how to or knows what stars even look like, let alone the constellation. So it just like blows people's minds. Sorry for I any of you Kansas listeners. Do I don't mean. <laughs> I was not aware that Kansas was so based. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, then you got Oklahoma, which I mean, you you have to 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 pay uh, to drive on their roads. <laughs> They've got toll oh. ro roads there that go through the state. <laughs> True I guess fact. They, whenever, whenever they, we, I've seen a car come from there. It's always red dirt all over everything. So that's <laughs> that's all I see. Like, oh, there's Oklahoma plates. Yeah, that's why they're covered with red dirt. So. <laughs> As you guys approach um, Vegas, um, uh, you have you're going to be uh, driving around Vegas if you don't go through it. Uh, your agents uh, chime because you are now uh, close enough to a large city that you are with in range of the Vegas City Net again. You have access to data. Are we wanted? Can't they track our agents? Um. How's that work in the future? Um, Kurt? Yes. Uh, the uh, mega corporation, uh, which sells you your data, WorldSat, could do that. But uh, world, but WorldSat and the other mega corporations don't get along well. And currently, you're wanted by Saab Oil, so that's probably not a concern. Gotcha. You can be tracked by the radiation that you're giving off, though. And you were tracked by the radiation you were giving off. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, that biker had a had a uh, uh, integrated agent in his uh, cyber arm, so you could you could loot that also if you wanted. Oh, of, of course. course, I loot everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we can choose hey, Zara. to go. 
Yes. No, Allison, you first. So we can choose to go through Vegas or around Vegas? Yes. Okay. Hey, Zara, uh, your agent. <laughs> okay. No, sorry, I didn't mean to do it again. I really am trying not to interrupt people. <laughs> nope, it works. Zara, your agent uh, pings, and you had the voice switch to Speedy Gonzalez, did you not? Uh, something. Oh, I think it was Eeyore, wasn't it Eeyore? It was oh, Eeyore. It was Speedy. Okay. Oh, and then we switched it to Speedy, because I was like, are you always going to talk this slow? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hola, hola. Arriba, arriba. You got a message. <laughs> okay. And I'll look at it. Or is it a voice message? You have message? a voicemail. From... Yes. Okay. Then I will listen and to I it. Post... Okay. I posted an MP3 in the Cyberpunk channel. If you want to play that. Do, do, do. Or I could just read it for you. I can play it, but you sprung it on me. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's why we call it a surprise. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Is it Daddy Shark? No. It is... Oh, what? I didn't press the enter button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it is the mp3 file at the bottom of the channel All right. the vocaroo file anybody listening bear with me i don't know how loud this is but here we go hola zara this is trey santiago about the story i covered uh lose 50 wait i thought trey santiago was a man uh yeah, I asked for a volunteer to read it for me, oh. and an Irish girl responded. So, <gasps> okay. as of now, uh, Trey Santiago is Irish. Okay, let me let me push play. That threw me off. <laughs> so I decided to bury the story. They don't want their own evening newscaster associated with a serial killer, even if she wasn't guilty of anything. Barbara Dahl's face was all over. I'm the not hearing it. Don't so either. Yeah. Anybody else hearing it? No. I don't think I can play it for you guys, but I can play it through stream. Okay. So, hold on. <laughs> About right. the story. No, curious. that's all right. I'll just narrate. I'm going to hit play because I want to hear it. <laughs> Go ahead and narrate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Uh, you got a voice message from Trace Santiago, um, who is, uh, as it turns out, uh, I, I never specified before, Irish. Hey, Zara, this is Trace Santiago. And I just all uh, wanted to catch, to touch base with you. And I wanted to tell you that um, uh, the story which aired on in. 54, it was a little disappointing to me, and uh, they cut out all of the footage that I recorded from inside the basement. It's kind of understandable, since they don't want their newscaster being associated with a serial killer, even indirectly. But, none the, but nonetheless, I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to... Uh, just go uh, work independently for a while. Build up my own audience, like I used to back a couple of years ago, before I took this job. But, oh, yeah, there's your thing, too. Yeah, Saab Oil definitely wants you dead. And uh, they've issue, uh, they have issued a hit list for you. I think that I can still clear that up. But I was following up on Calvary's hunch about the Philharmonic Vampires being responsible. And that one uh, Bella Lugosi fella that he thought had done it. It turned... Uh, I spoke with an informant, and my inside source says that he allowed it to happen, 
but he did not leak the information himself. That was done by a new recruit, a lady named Sukasi. So, so, uh, it's Sumaki. So, ah, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, it's the one that it's the one who uh, uh, hates you, Zara. So anyway, enjoy your trip. Bring me back something. That's all. Bye. Uh, I played that on speakerphone for everybody. And I'm like, so essentially what we already knew, right? Is this new information to anybody? Yeah. S Sumaki? Those vampires? Yeah, they were a gang. Oh. <laughs> and that is the chick that is the chick who gave you the uh vampire job. She was your contact. Oh. So she sent you on that job and then she leaked your information to Solve Oil. According to Trace and his source. Do we think this is just because I was trying to get too much money out of them, or was there something else? They probably used that as a uh, as an underlying reason just to let it happen. Well, once we're done with this job, and we could safely move back there, you know, without... Getting arrested. Uh, I've got a word or two for her. <laughs> Are we going to kill people? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, sweet. Sum me up. A word. Because it'll be the last word she ever hears in her entire miserable little life. I thought you were going to say it was bull. Let. <laughs> So are we, where are we driving, hey, Calvary? Are we going around or through? I don't want to go through. I think I want to go around, too. I think through, you'd get stuck doing, you know. Well, well plus in with uh, the package that we're, we're transporting. Mm. We can go yeah. through on the way back. <laughs> Hope you guys like desert. Yeah, I was going to say we go through. Maybe we can find some shops, we can sell offload some extra stuff we picked up along the way. Mm, we might be able to travel back if we're coming back this way, but we have a radiation thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure I'm fine. See, I, 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 I do like, offload I do like dessert. I, I do like dessert, but I, I didn't think we were driving through any dessert anytime soon. <laughs> I'm going to take Greg's hand and use his skeletal hand to smack you upside the head. Oh, please be some dummy. <laughs> Dang it, Greg, not while I'm driving. Uh, Zed, uh, your agent also pings. Um, as you pass through the city net. All right. I'll answer it. All right. Okay, your agent says to you, Hey, big guy! What's going? What's going on? Something. What, what, what did we do? What did we find? When we entered the... When we entered the city net for uh, Las Vegas... Um, I did my routine scan for any uh, names in the in the local databases that correspond to your contacts, and your parents' names popped up. Uh, relatable information. All right, and your agent shows you that uh, printed in one of the local digital newspapers uh, is an obituary. It's a long, detailed obituary that was published the uh, day after your parents died. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I'll also begin to read it. Okay. Uh, there's no new information there, uh, except the fact that it appeared in this uh, Las in this Las Vegas newspaper, which is not where they lived and not where they died. But somebody uh, paid the newspaper to print this obituary. Is there any names? Uh, no. No. All right, I'll have to keep track of it. I'll save it in, like, important details. All right. Okay, do you guys want to make any other stops along the way? Do we have enough food, mm -hmm. water, all that bullshit in case we get stranded in the desert? Yes, you do. Okay, that's you all. You do have out. another couple of days worth. Okay. Fuel and all so, that good uh, stuff. Yep, yeah, you were told that you definitely have enough fuel to get there. Probably an maybe enough to get back without having to stop for gas. Okay. Depending on factors. Like uh, elevation, how how much weight you're transporting, whether or not you lean forward. There's a headwind, a tailwind, <laughs> sidewind. Brake wind. Someone, yeah, Whirlwind. Someone breaks wind. <laughs> <laughs> Any high speed chases? Oh, good suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, after you, oh. Uh... Uh, just as uh, you're uh, leaving the coverage area for Las Vegas, uh, you hear a loud roar as an aerodyne passes overhead. Now, these aerodynes, they're the flying cars of the setting. And the way that you make one is basically you take the, uh, you take the wheels off of a car and you replace them with Harrier jet engines. And when you've got uh, four of uh, those jet engines um, on a frame that is all of the aerodynamics of a brick, uh, you can fly. Not very, not very efficiently, but it's uh, great for maneuvering or for maneuvering around uh, between high-rise buildings inside of a city. So, trauma team uses. Uh, these vehicles almost extensive, very extensively. And you and they do have VTOL, so you can land them anywhere, anywhere that you can put a uh, helicopter landing pad. But they are quite loud because they've got four jet engines on them each. So this roars as it passes you overhead on the highway. And it's impossible to miss. And then after it passes over your head, it turns slowly and begins to follow behind you. Do we have any sort of scope weapons? Just to get a look, of course. I do not think that you do. Damn. Someone's allowed to correct me if, you're, if I'm wrong. No, the only thing I could think would think is if an assault rifle has it, but it, I don't think it would be a telescopic uh, scope. It would be more along the lines of just a targeting scope. Uh, can we? Do we notice any distinctive markings on this vehicle, like that would tell us who's following us? Be a perception roll, but everyone's welcome to make it. Human perception. DV. No, no, just uh, the perception skill. The DV is going to be 15. Oh, there it is, duh. And perception is an intelligence skill. 23. Hmm. 13. I'm not going to perceive anything. I am blissfully blasting music and driving along. 
Can I use my uh, battle perception? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's a, a natural 20. Oh, 15. excellent. Okay. 15 is not quite. Yeah. Uh, two of you uh, were able to uh, recognize um, that, uh, yes, uh, it does have a uh, small, em it did have a small emblem on the side, uh, nothing that you could see from underneath, that, that part was covered up, but on the side is an Arasaka logo. Okay. Arasaka being one of the more infamous mega corporations. And it was the one that Johnny Silverhand and his crew attacked. Back in the day. I just posted an image in the Cyberpunk channel. Yeah, I'm just going to ready my gun, my assault rifle. Okay. I don't have any paint in the back of the truck, right? Mm, not that I recall. Okay. Um, no. Um. It was empty. I don't yeah. think that was Sounds like a handy there. thing to pick up for next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it settles in and matches your speed at a distance of uh, 100 yards. Which is going to be a very bad dis which is going to be a bad distance for most of your weapons. And then it and then it dropped low. So it's uh only so it's only about ten yards off the ground. I'm gonna uh warn the driver again. I'm in the van. Okay. Are so they... Jinx is driving and Calvary is driving, correct? Okay. I'm sorry, is this Aerodyne behind us or in front of us? Behind you. It okay. is following you and now it is now matching your speed. Now, I guess there's really no windows we could see in, huh? Well, um... Uh, no, but your perception was high enough that you could tell uh, the door on the side is open. My character oh, wants to do a lot of things that I don't want to do as a player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's open, is it? <clears throat> All right. I'm going to ask the driver to slow down a bit. Uh, Jinx, you've been asked to slow down a bit. Sure. I have no perception of anything, so I haven't really even noticed shit yet. They asked me to slow down, <laughs> I'm like, alright. I want to see if the, uh, the vehicle behind us will try and catch up to our, I'd say, side door? Huh. Okay, uh, the answer is no. It matches speed with the van. Damn it. You tell me to keep slowing down, or do you say speed up? Yeah, we can speed up, but we need to, like, find cover. Calvary, uh, you want to hey, find some a... evasive maneuvers? Or tactical maneuvers to maybe go at them? Uh, so it's 100 yards from me? Yes. I have a flashlight with a 100-yard beam. <laughs> it's one of the things listed here. I do remember her saying that. 
It was like one of those, Whoa. she has one of those 1 million candle uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, flashlights that she took when we were hunting the, the vampires. Along yeah, with her everybody give me, <laughs> everybody give me a uh, initiative roll, please. Oh, That's going to be a, that is going to be a 10 sider plus your reflex. All right, I just rolled a one. <laughs> so and nice. Zara gets an uh, Zara gets an extra two points because of her speed wear, her cybernetics. Okay. That was Plus, a, a, a which, what was the was the roll? Plus what? Reflex. Reflex. Okay. Reflex. I so I got a whole three. So yeah, I eight. I I had the plus two, but where I distributed my points, is that an additional? Uh, that was, I thought, only for uh, plus one to attack and plus one to damage. Not initiative. Gotcha. Okay. Does my battle awareness get added to it? So Zara, did you tell me what was actually going on, or were you just kind of? Oh, I'm I just thought you're driving along. I assumed you knew. What no, cop I... doesn't check their rear view when they're driving? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All I see behind me is the the big white van. Hey, Calvary! There's a big what? fucking Aerodyne following us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ready to play? Okay. What are your initiative rolls, please? Nineteen. Uh, Seventeen. Three. I rolled an eight. I mean, I rolled a one, and then I had seven points, so I got an eight. <laughs> You're supposed to roll another d10 and then subtract that. What? Yeah, when you roll a one. <laughs> Just a second. I'm going to roll another. Uh, three. It's so worth how, how I ended up with the three. Five. I got a five. <laughs> it's just like when you roll a ten, you roll another, you roll the d10 again and add it to it. Gotcha. Yeah, so I got a five. Still beat you, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> okay, who got the 19? I did. All right. So, uh,. That is the top of the initiative. Uh, Zara, um, you're able to declare your action first. If you have an action to declare. What did we have mounted on top of the car that Calvary's driving? Grenade launcher. Grenade launcher. I would like to prepare to fire that, please. Okay. <laughs> Might I suggest or trying to time the grenade so that it goes off... When the aerodyne goes over it. And the van's also behind <laughs> us, right? Yes. Calvary, I'm going to need you to maybe to take a up. wide berth from the van, just in case. Off-road? Off-road, baby. Oh, I get to test out the new tires. <laughs> am I aware that they're going off-road, or am I just blindly following them at this point in time? Someone want a radio, or I'll, I'll I'll switch on comms. Um, Jinx, stay on the road. Okay, I'm that gonna, works. I'm, I'm I'm going to 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 swerve off off road for a little bit. I mean, I think there's another road stop. If you need to like take a squat, you can probably do it uh, someplace else. Jinx, I'm gonna shoot a grenade. Oh, I'll stay on the road. You can go off. Road and then you then. hear maniacal laughter as I climb to the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why are you guys going off road? Left or right? <laughs> Left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. Uh, so Zara is holding her action for when. Uh, Calvary lines up a better shot. 
Mm -hmm. Uh, Zed, you're up. I'm going to do uh, suppressive fire, and I'm going to aim it uh, to the right, sweeping to the left. Ooh, suppressive fire. That means I have to make a concentration roll here. Does this character even have? Yes, this character does have concentration. Okay. So now it is the baddie's turn, and uh, they actually do. Uh, they actually do break off, and. Uh, they dip down uh, over some uh, sand dunes on the side of the road. And I'll see whether they're going right or left. They are going... They move to the left. And uh, Jinx, it's your turn. I got my flashlight. I'm just going to see if I can blind the driver. <laughs> so you have the, the van on cruise control? Yeah. No, I look over at uh, Zed and I'm like, yeah, steer. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I thought he was in the back. I was. It doesn't matter. Haven't you ever done that? Like, if you have to put on, like, lipstick or something, you know, so you're like, I got to put on lipstick, and whoever's sitting next to you, you're like, steer. And then they steer while you put on lipstick. <laughs> Can't say that I've ever done that. You boys oh, familiar you with lipstick, lipstick? <laughs> makeup in cars? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Uh, now, if yeah, you're talking about maybe shaving or... <laughs> cheeseburgers. Uh, but yeah, no, I just... I, okay. just, uh, I just yelled, steer. <laughs> 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 At least I have right, a gold pilot on my side, and Greg that'll that 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 could do that for me. <laughs> there is no uh, flashlight attack skill, uh, so <laughs> we're going to. There, I, I, instead, I, we are going to use a uh, old rule, uh, huh? which was in the jumpstart kit. Uh, when this game first came out, but they edited it out when they put out the full rule book. Uh, <laughs> this is called the cultural skill. And uh -huh. this is how it works. Uh, you may use your cultural skill in place of any other skill when you don't have the right skill. And this represents all of the knowledge that your character thinks that he or she has. <laughs> from watching movies and reading comic books. So if you ever have to disarm a bomb and you say, I know how to do this. I, re I read it in a comic book once. You always you always cut the red wire. Huh? This, oh, is, the this wire. is the skill that you use. It is, equal, it is equal to your education skill, but unlike the other skills, you may never improve it. So what is gotcha. Jinx's education skill? Uh, it's the total, right? I use the total number? Uh, no. I use the uh, do not use the total sure. number. Uh, what is your level in education? Six. Six. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're... So, you I, may... My stat uh, is let's combine. Two, oh. the level is six. All right. So, let's combine uh, your... Reflex skill with uh, that six and a ten sider roll. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. Uh, what movie or book did you read about this in? Did you learn this tactic by playing Dead by Daylight? <laughs> I, I don't. I've never read or watched Dead by Daylight. Is that a good thing? 
<laughs> it's a video game where you blind the killer. Yes. Sure! That's what yeah. I did. <laughs> okay! I was, gonna, I, I was gonna say, maybe it's from snipe hunting, but... <laughs> <laughs> Dead by Daylight, that's, that's okay. what I'm gonna use, yes. That classic <laughs> game from the past. <laughs> Alright, a 15 is adequate. Um, uh, this will also count as suppressing fire. For as long I... as you... Uh, for as long as you maintain maintain this blinding flashlight. Uh, Calvary, your turn. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and navigate the the, the, the the limo off to the left, so that way Zara has a a, a better better line of sight for the, huh. the grenade launcher. The good Thanks, news is Daddy. I have a spotlight shining on him, so <laughs> they can see right, right where they are. <laughs> okay, uh, Calvary. Give me a uh, drive skill roll, please. All right. Drive is under. Yep, your DV is going to be 13. I believe it's a tech skill. Yeah, I'm just looking for... I know I've got it. I'm just trying to find where exactly it is. Land vehicle tech? Okay. No, drive land vehicle. It is a tech skill. It is under control skills, if that helps. It does. There it is. Okay. DV is 13. If you succeed on this, you're going to give a bonus to Zara shot. What, 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 what do I need to get? A 14 or higher. It's all that look. An 11. And I don't have enough luck points to get myself up to that. No, nope. I'd have to use all my luck points to all my remaining yeah. luck points to <laughs> to beat that. Yeah. If you succeed, all you're going to do is uh, give uh, Zara a plus one bonus to her roll. It's not worth all your luck points, probably. I don't need it. I'm amazing. <laughs> okay, she said as she laughed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you, you you are using Cyclone. Cyclone has has, has been very good to me. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I named her. <laughs> okay, it's still a hundred yards away. So, uh, Zara, your your DV with a grenade launcher is going to be a twenty-two. Okay, what do I put into my roll? Uh, your ten sider and heavy weapons. I actually don't have Which any weapons. Reflux, you, know. you don't have it under your ranged weapon skills? Mm -mm. Well, uh, you can substitute your cultural skill. <laughs> I, if you can tell us what movie you saw this in. Don't think that even with that, I can roll that DV. Are they any closer? Because they're both on the left side. Uh, if Calvary had, uh, made his, uh, driving roll, I would let you, uh, change the range, but he didn't make that roll. Okay. So, yeah, you could, you could still roll a 10 and, your, and see your die explode. Okay, fuck it. She thinks, Possible. she's confident she's gonna get this, so she's gonna shoot. Okay. And get a four. <laughs> Uh, the Cyclone does have a rate of fire of two, so you can fire off, so you can make two attempts. Okay. A three! Nope, I don't think that she's your way up to that. She had fun, though. She enjoyed herself very much. Uh-huh. <laughs> I see two, I, I, I see two huge plumes of sand <laughs> in my rearview mirror. <laughs> oh, oh, the sand God. might end up on the vehicle, at least, you know, getting their eyes a little bit since they have their door open. <laughs> we can hope. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, back at the top of the initiative, back at the top of the initiative, it we, which puts us back at Zara again. <laughs> you were holding your back last time. Uh, let's switch you to my bow. Again. No. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch to my bow. Um, do I have a clear shot, like into the side door? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Okay. So... Uh, you can. I don't know who I... Who, because if they were completely undercover, uh, this would be a very, very long combat. Okay. But your DV is going to be the same. It's still a DV 22 at this range. Plus two. So I'm adding... Very long shot. I'm adding my bow with sniper scope. It says plus one. I get okay. a plus one from my additions before game, right? Yes. And then anything else I put in there? Uh, reflex and archery skill. Reflex. It's a reflex. Oh, fudge. <laughs> oh, wait. Is archery reflex or is it dexterity? Am I? It's, it's Am uh, I... reflex. Okay. At least on, uh, okay. on mine, it's reflex. So before I roll, well, I've got 25. Ooh. And I rolled a one. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> so I roll have to again, roll please. and deduct what I get from my total, right? Yes. Oh, I rolled another one, so I rolled a 25. <laughs> yeah, up to 26, down to 25. That I is a hit. Where to God. <laughs> to God. All right. Roll your damage, please. So it says 4d6 plus was yeah. it another 1? Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, you add 1. That's your damage bonus. So I got from being a solo. 18, 18 19 damage. Ooh. I know. Okay, this character has armor 12, gets through that. Uh, seven hit points? Okay. Uh, so, uh, Zara uh, goes up through the sunroof, fires her crossbow, uh, which... Uh, Passes between a couple of sand dunes right into the door and uh, and jabs into the leg of this uh, character who was just leaning out with a sniper rifle. They're not friendly, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what gave you that impression? I shot before I saw the sniper rifle. <laughs> is that kind of like the same thing as shoot and ask questions later you know it <laughs> Zed your turn after they're all dead all right. are they still blinded uh yeah uh, what they're doing is that they are seeking cover behind the sand dunes so right. I'm gonna, uh, you since... could still Hmm? I said you could still shoot at them like Zara just did. Mm. No, but I they cannot. Saying take control of the car. So, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slam. Yeah, but are you going the... to listen to Jinx? Yeah, because I want to kill these guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. What is your action? I'm gonna slam my foot on the brakes, <laughs> basically to match up with their uh their speed. Now that they're basically blinded. Okay. If you slam on the brakes, uh, what's going to happen is that the uh, limo is going to shoot uh forward in front of you, and uh, your tires are going to squeal. And now the aerodyne is between the two of you. 
Sweets. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Ramming speed. <laughs> I will let you decide what your range is. Oh, only real up close. Okay. Like, right up their butt, basically. Well, they are trying to hide uh, behind the cover of some sand dunes. So I'll say you can get within uh, 50 yards. Okay. And then I'm going to hold my next action, which will be to basically get on top of the van. <laughs> Okay, so you're hitting the brakes and then immediately crawling on top of the van. Yep. Okay. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> As I always say, everything. And That's an action and a move. The By the rules, it works. <laughs> I, As, as he's the... climbing... Climbing on Did top of the van, he's like, I always control. wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, is Jinx been uh, maintaining the spotlight on these guys? If so, I have to make a concentration roll here. Is this like an action for me, or is this a what? We're behind him now, right? Well, uh, yes, you are. That means Spotlight probably wouldn't be blinding them unless if you shine it directly like into the rearview mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, they still have a door open? Yeah, they do. Is it on my side or... Uh, since Zara was able to shoot inside the Aerodyne, I'm going to say yes. Yeah, they got a door open on both sides. Both sides? Why not? Okay. Um, I'm going to grab a road flare and try to throw it in the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going to be... Mechanically, this is interesting. <laughs> because uh, thrown objects are uh, against an opposed dodge, and they're not trying to dodge. No, so uh, roll me, roll me your ten cider. Add your athletics total. Okay, I rolled a ten. So roll athletics again. Ooh. Seven. And I rolled a four. So 14 plus your athletics total. That's like 21. 21. Okay. All right. This was a... Uh, he's not dodging that. <laughs> 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 this was a uh, legendary shot. Uh, you just sort of uh, leaned out the van window and threw a road flare. Across two lanes and over a sand dune. <laughs> and into the Aerodyne. Immediately get on the radio and just start, Did you see that? Did you see that? Zara's not easily impressed. She is impressed. Now, everyone inside the Aerodyne, I'm going to say, is going to suffer the effects of a... Flashbang grenade. Uh -huh. And uh, it also lights up for an hour. Uh, 100 meters, so. <laughs> Cavalry, do you have an uh, action to declare? Uh, no, I'm just going to try uh, slowing the... the... You're going to try to the, get closer? The limo down? down, so that way Zara may have a, a better or an easier shot. Okay. No role involved for that. Uh, would you like to uh, pick what range that you want to move into? I'll, I'll, I'll uh, 
uh, yell over to Zaro, How close do you want, want them to get? Leave a little bit of space for velocity. What's that, like 25 yards? Or? Yeah, I was going to say, you, you, you're, you want 25, you want 30, you want 50 yards? You drive wherever you want. I'm going to hit them. All right, I'll, 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 I'll let, let them get within uh, 25 yards. Yards, okay. That is uh, a uh, much better uh, DV for using a crossbow. Zara will only have only have a DV of 15. Oh, you know what? Remember when I asked about a sniper scope? My bow has one. <laughs> I had forgotten that. <laughs> All right. Now these guys, uh, they are finally not under pinning uh, suppression fire anymore. So they are going to pop They're up. They're not a suppression and... fire, but they also have a road flare going off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they're blinded. <laughs> but they are but they are firing uh, their machine gun at the limo now. Gotcha. And that's going to be a hit. <laughs> hit the limo. <laughs> hit Calvary's baby. <laughs> Calvary's gonna cry. <laughs> now I'm gonna go into a rage. <laughs> <laughs> Calvary smash. <laughs> well, points of damage. I uh, chain guns. 12 points of damage. A uh, chain gun uh, pivots off to the side and uh, sprays the limo. About half of the bullets uh, hit the armored side of the, limous of the limousine, and Zara sees these bullets uh, sparking off of the side of the car around her. And that's all that they can do uh, for, this, uh, for this particular round. Bring us back to Zara again. Do I have a shot at the the driver or the pilot of this thing? No. Okay. Then I'll go for the same. You can view. attack the. You can attack the vehicle, or you can attack the guy with the sniper rifle. Sniper. Okay. All right. Your DV is only a fifteen at this range. Uh, thirty. <laughs> That's a big hit. Roll your damage. <laughs> a whole 14. Fourteen. This is wearing some uh, pretty significant armor. Um, it sinks most of that, but uh, you see, do see a little blood being drawn. As this time you hit him in the shoulder. Calvary, hey Zed, you gotta drive what? a little straighter so I can get a better shot. This, all of this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look over at Greg and just shake my head. <laughs> Zed, it's your turn. All right. I'm on top of the van now, right? Yes. Cool. I'm going to shout to Jinx, like bang the top of the van, asking her to get closer to the, to the vehicle. And I'm going to prepare a jump. To jump and board their 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 cruiser. Oh, cool! Do have, nice. Do you have the Katachi with you too? Uh, Samurai knife thing. 
No, but I have an assault rifle, which I'm just going to let loose when I get in there. Okay, and... Uh, appropriately next, Jinx, you're up. Okay. Have I... So I'm going to move closer for him to get in there? Is he holding his move, okay. or was that his move? I'm preparing. Preparing yeah. or holding? He's holding his move. Okay. Yeah. I'm driving closer to them. Okay. Give me a pilot land vehicle. <clears throat> Skill vehicle roll. Tech? That's going to be your inside. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's a pilot reflex. land vehicle is a reflex. Yeah, it's drive reflex? land vehicle. It is. Oh, wait, wait. No, you were right. That is a tech skill. Okay. And vehicle tech. Do I use stat level or total? Total. Total. Okay. And I roll a 10? Okay. Yes. Rolled a 10? Plus 12? Oh! So that's 22 plus 1, so 21. Yeah, with that roll, you could drive the van on top of the Aerodyne if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm thinking okay. that I use those sand dudes as, like, ramps and just... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this uh, crummy, uh, sketchy-looking van uh, tears off the side and, like the General Lee, ramps <laughs> off of a sand dune and brings <laughs> Zed uh, face-to-face with a, a very surprised look with a very surprised looking sniper. <laughs> All right, uh, Zed, you're not. Yeah, so it's just sitting there going, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so I probably think it's going to be maybe like dexterity, but I'm going to jump in there and just go straight for the sniper, essentially. Okay, I was going to ask you for an athletics roll, but since that piloting roll was so good, uh, I'm not <laughs> going to ask for an athletics roll. You can just. Uh, you can just declare your attack and <laughs> casually step from the roof of the van um, into the aerodyne. I'm back on the communication table. Did you sleep? <laughs> I'm in the air! Keep the comms clear! Damn! <laughs> I take the comms out of his hand. That was amazing times two. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got a fifteen. Okay. Uh, was that a brawling attack, or uh, were you shooting your gun? Um. Well, actually, if I use martial arts, that's gonna be a twenty-five. All right. Uh. Yeah, you're at point blank range. You only needed an eighteen. You only needed an 18 or better. So, uh, go to the damage roll. All right. Uh, so, in in my martial arts, I chose judo, which uses my body in damage. Okay, so you're not shooting. You're nope. uh, karate chopping. All yeah. right, all right. Okay, I get you now. I get you. You have a little press button on the on your back that makes you go judo chop. <laughs> <laughs> like the old action figures of 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 yesteryear. The the action of judo uh deals my damage in body directly to their health and knock them prone. Costing them around to get up. Okay. All right, this is the counter throw maneuver. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Um, yeah. Uh, that's um, not just knocking them prone. Um, that's uh, putting them wherever you want. <clears throat> you could uh, oh, throw them into the cockpit. You could throw them out of the aerodyne. Uh, I'm going to throw them into the cockpit. Okay. <laughs> 
Then give me another brawling attack to see whether you can hit the pilot. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 15. All right. This is an opposed roll. And, oh, I rolled a 10. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, so, uh, the pilot was able to dodge out of the way and did, uh, uh, he just shifts in his seat and leans over, so he doesn't get hit, but he does have a, uh, sprawled out sniper all over his control panel now. <laughs> What's what's the chances that that sniper accidentally hit the like the 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 the, the gear shifter from like fly to land or <laughs> or dive or climb? Point. The answer is yes. <laughs> so, cavalry, are you doing that? Here, how, yeah, would I, how would I do that? I, I I was wondering if the if the when when uh, uh, Dex threw the 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 sniper in there, if the the, the probability of him uh, his his body uh, slamming into the gear yeah. shifter to make the aerodyne do well, that. Well, you suggested it, so I asked if you were going to spend the luck point. Oh, but, uh, I see. I, I see. Also- I, I didn't hear the luck point, um, luck, luck, luck point part. Yes, I will spend a luck oh, point on that just to see it. <laughs> okay. And I will make a piloting roll to see if he can recover. And I rolled a two. So, no. Uh, uh, this aerodyne is going down. Uh, and because Zed uh, casually stepped over, he still has some movement allowance if he wants to dive out of the way. Yeah, can I use invasion? Or he can crash. Yes, you can. All right. Uh, I will 19. establish a random... Yep, that beats the DV. Okay. Uh, uh, you dive out of the aerodyne before it crashes. Everybody inside the air, who's still in the aerodyne, is going to take, let's see, how many points of damage here? 8, 11, 15, 20, 21 points of damage. Uh, no critical injuries, though. Oh. They're down. Uh, Zed, uh, I'm going... Uh, you're still going to take uh, some damage uh, because you're, you're diving out of a speeding vehicle and hitting yep. the ground, but I'm only going to give you two die six here. And that is not a critical injury. Uh, ten points of damage, and your armor is... At, at 11, correct? Yep, that's correct. Okay, so your armor takes a beating. Um, it's uh, degraded to uh, body armor 10 now. That's its new stopping power. But you took no hit points of damage. Okay. And the aerodyne crashes. Nose first, into the sand. Is there a gas leak? Dude, I want oh, to of course there's the a gas leak. <laughs> and the flare's still going, because it didn't... Yeah, because the flare's still going for, for an hour. hour. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the flare does go for an hour. <laughs> Again, at 100 yards worth of light. So the thing is lit up like a Christmas tree at this point. <laughs> Allison, roll me a six-sider, please. Exciter? Yes. Rolled a three. Okay, the aerodyne, uh, uh, the uh, fuel does catch on fire from the flare. <laughs> Whoa! 
Oh! I was preoccupied. I thought maybe we could interrogate these people. <laughs> I guess I watched them go up in the flames. <laughs> yeah. There were no survivors. And even though you're... Uh, your armor and your uh, vehicles took a little bit of a pounding, but still, in this entire campaign, nobody has suffered a single hit point of of injuries. <laughs> now, was there a big like a ball of explosion? Because then, if if that was the case, then I'll get on the couch like, did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more of a slow napalm burn, but uh, yeah, we'll go with the explosion. Slow mo, we're driving away. I high five Greg. It's a great day. <laughs> I, had to, I had to stop to let Zed back in the truck. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> uh, Zed, you're going to be uh, picking sand out of your armor for hours. It got okay. everywhere. <laughs> we got Alex to kill. Yeah. It got in your ears. It got up your nose. It somehow sand. got in your underwear. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> sand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, him, hey, that hey, was. Hey, 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 that sand. I can use that. That was completed with in uh if in just about three combat rounds. So even if uh Calvary had called for backup <laughs> from the highway patrol, they would only just now be arriving. <laughs> and you didn't need them. <laughs> Man, road flares for the Yeah, the <laughs> The suppressing fire served you guys very, very well. Yes, it did. <laughs> they only got off one shot at you. <laughs> and it was really lucky Zed did that at first because the rest of us rolled so bad for addition. We would have been toast. <laughs> except for, uh, sorry, except for, uh, um, uh, Zara Zara had also that good uh, that uh, crossbow two. shot. One. <laughs> That's all you needed. Okay, with that, uh, uh, you make the rest of your trip uneventfully. You pull in, uh, you drive to your coordinates, which is inside Los Alamos Labs. And the place is a ghost town. It looks like it's been abandoned for decades. No power. Uh, no net architectures for you to plug into. And you uh, drive through uh, some decaying, falling, da falling down security fences. And come to a stop in front of building PF4. And a very small sign on the door reads Plutonium Lab. I'm still, by the way, you have reached your active outfit, okay? <laughs> yes, you are. We're, we're, we're supposed to meet up with an angel, I think, right? And hell. <clears throat> Correct. Samantha pronounced it angel. All right. Where is my picture of that? I'm Erica. assuming someone else will do the talking because Jinx is not the person who you want negotiating anything. Yeah, maybe. Oh. <laughs> my negotiations got us on a shit list. <laughs> but I'm more than happy to do so again. I'm more of a combat specialist. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I guess it'll be me then. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh. So I run forward and knock on the door. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. All right, you step forward. <clears throat> A security camera on the roof of the building uh, follows you as you step towards the door and you knock on it. A intercom voice from inside <clears throat> uh, crackles and says, Hello? Hello? Who's out there? Livery! I'll, I'll walk up. Uh, uh, we're here from, uh, to make a drop-off from Samantha to Angel. Oh, you're the people who Sammy sent. Yeah, she told me to expect you. Just a minute and I'll be out. Okay, now I want to take a quick uh, player survey. And uh, is anyone watching on the Twitch page? Not... Yes. We didn't advertise it. Oh, someone is? Oh, but I'm subbed, so I didn't see any ads. Okay. <gasps> Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the uh, Umbrella Chicken is here, so... Uh... If you're watching us, uh, you can type in the chat and you can uh, vote here. What do you think was inside the crate? Is it number one, the body of Johnny Silverhand? Number two, an atom bomb? Or number three, other? Other? <laughs> other? What's other? Well, it was mentioned that Samantha was the biggest Johnny fan ever. Okay. I have that so that's in my one... notes. Was right. it also that mentioned is, that uh, there was one... a child in the box or something like that at some point in time? Like a, it's a child? Uh, the bikers did shout, surrender the little boy. So, okay. Allison thinks it's a literal little boy. <laughs> Is that my understanding? A little boy? I think it's a little radioactive boy. <laughs> or, you know, like okay. Adam Bombas name little boy. That's my favorite nursery <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> what? Little, the little boy who became a bomb. <laughs> Looks like a jingle. <laughs> oh, I... I have no idea what that means. I'm not a bard. I can't make up a song right now. I could try, but it'd be horrible. <laughs> okay. Hey, Luke, what do, you, what do you and Zed think is inside the box? Uh, I think it's a weapon. Okay. You think it's a bomb. Jason, what do you think is inside the box? I think it's a bomb as well, considering my 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 history self. Because you got Fat Man and Little Boy, which were the two. The uh, Fat Man was the, the 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 hydrogen bomb, and and Little Man was the plutonium bomb. Yeah, uranium and plutonium. Oh, that's right, uranium. Uh, yeah. and plutonium. hydrogen wasn't okay. until later. <laughs> Okay, so you've got, uh, that sounds like a split vote. It sounds like uh, two votes for a body and two votes for a bomb. I mean, technically, mine's little radioactive boy. <laughs> well, then, it, it could be Johnny Silverhand's body that was <clears throat> transformed into a bomb. A little <laughs> it's all of the above. <laughs> I I make an option D. <laughs> it's uh, Johnny's son that was turned into a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
never hand us the reins. <laughs> the part of the story is um, uh, the characters guessing what is what it is that they're carrying, and you guys never did open it to look inside. Oh, you followed the instructions. Followed the requests. <laughs> Not every group does that. <laughs> they said it's radioactive. They're like, do you want to open it? I'm like, no, it's radioactive. I don't want to open I, it. I, I like my hair. <laughs> I just do what's off so, <laughs> The door to the plutonium lab opens and a blonde woman uh, steps outside. And I just posted a picture in the uh, Cyberpunk channel on Discord. This is the character that you are seeing. She answers to Angel. And she says, Oh, welcome. You guys got here a little earlier than I expected. You must have made good time. It was a yeah, bonus. Good. bonus for that? I, I just really wanted to get down here so I, that way I can go search in the, 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 the landfill for an, an E.T. Atari cartridge. <laughs> she says, okay, your bonus. And she taps and she uh, taps an agent that's built into her cyber arm and Calvary's agent pings. Uh, uh, he just got a coordinates to a spot out in the middle of the desert. <laughs> uh, I am not interested in that. <laughs> Money payment, real payment, please. All right. Uh, she taps um her agent again, and uh, uh, the money is transferred into your accounts. I'm like, all right, let's start getting this thing moving, and I immediately go to the box and just start to get it out of my <laughs> vehicle, <laughs> weighing down the okay. back. Okay. And... <laughs> Use a little help. All right, uh, Jinx. A little help. <laughs> yeah, Jinx appears to be struggling. It is a heavy crate. <laughs> I got my money. I'm not helping. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't get it in there, they'll take the money back. <laughs> Don't you have helpers? I'll look at the lady that paid us. <laughs> no, I live here by my I live here by myself. Should you really be uh, telling strangers that? <laughs> it's really not a problem. <laughs> um, like, um, like look over at Calvary and Zed, and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna knock this thing over if you guys don't help. Is there a uh, built-in cart or something that you can like push a button in the back of the van that pops out or something rather? No, <laughs> it's a kidnapping van. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Angel um, says, "Hold on, I'll get my forklift." We can I drive it? And she steps back inside. <laughs> <laughs> she waited to watch Jinx struggle before she offered to get her forklift, so I automatically like her. <laughs> As she walks, I'll go like, check out the butt. <laughs> I'm just like you have four. And points. if you pay, hey, uh, if Zed pays me a luck point, then he can pilot the forklift. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I'll never use one. <laughs> <laughs> and the butt is nicely adequate. Oh yeah. I've got to get They're kids ready green. for bed, <clears throat> but I'll be listening. Okay. It's about that time anyway. But thank you, Shannon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> give me a pilot land vehicle roll because Zed is not forklift certified. <laughs> <laughs> DV is only going to be a 10. 
Oh, I got 11. 11, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you start, so, uh, you volunteer yourself to drive the forklift, uh, you lift up the crate, it starts to tip over, but then you <laughs> compensate, and you catch it, and you pull it out. And, uh, you can drive it right into her garage. And she says, uh, drop it right there. I have to dismantle the thing. It's gonna. <laughs> it, I'm gonna take my time with it. That'll take me all day. Ooh. Can I stand no, I any, uh, I, I, I'm like, you know, I don't think I need to see anything being dismantled. I might uh, head out. I'm already plotting where the the, the coordinates are that she gave me. <laughs> <laughs> He says, all right. Thanks for so, dropping in. So so what was it that we were transporting for you? She, she answers, a box. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> all right. Everybody receives, uh, because uh, I've been a little bit on the stingy side with how long you've been playing, 200 improvement points. Wow. No, uh, 300 improvement points. Sounds good. That should be adequate. Yeah, nobody has uh, used any improvement points yet, so you don't really understand the scale. But that oh, would be adequate to to move any of your roll abilities from roll four to roll five if you choose to do that, or it buys a lot of skill points. Gotcha. Uh, how much money did we actually uh, obtain? Oh, what did uh, Samantha say that she was going to pay you? Was it one thousand dollars? Was it one thousand eddies each? Yes, I believe so. Yeah, I thought that's I... what it was. I'm looking here, and I don't. I thought that it was in the short story specified. Um, um one thousand. That's what we'll go with. Do we get bonuses for not opening the crate and delivering it safely and whatnot? No. Uh, your your we, tip was the coordinates that uh, she gave to Cavalry. Didn't she Maybe give a little it. bit of an extra bonus uh, when Zara was like, I get paid in cash? I don't remember. Is that what happened? I think so. She clicked on the thing and it went beep again. Uh, yeah. Uh, once was for the coordinates and once was for the payments. So. Gotcha. Okay. So $1,000. She had like the $1,000 that they found in the wallet that eventually will get split at Calvary? Yes. Oh, two fifty each. Uh, sounds fair to me. Keep some. But what okay. does? But what sounds fair to Jinx? Or to Jinx or to Calvary? Because <laughs> didn't Calvary find the wallet? He did. Okay, Calvary. <laughs> I never said. Are you sharing in the in the in the in, in, in the in the in the wallet? <laughs> I'll give everybody a uh, um one hundred eddies from the from the wallet. Hey, by the way, I'm side eyeing Calvary because I know he's lying. The, the slightly corrupt 
lawman <laughs> strikes again. <laughs> All right, and are we heading out, or does anyone want anything else around here? Especially since she had to deactivate something. I don't ask if she's got any like upgrades randomly lying around or anything like that. <laughs> well, no, uh, this place is full of twentieth uh, century tech. Uh, anything that you, anything that you would scavenge around here would probably be a downgrade, but. Uh, you want to spend the day um, scat scavenging, looking around. You're welcome to it. I'm the only one who lives here, so nobody's going to complain. Yeah, I'll do that. While they go to do that um, cartridge thing. Okay. That sounds like a downtime activity. Uh, mm -hmm. Shannon, did you hear about um, getting paid and the experience that you earned. 200 XP, 350 eddies? Uh, 300, 300 improvement XP. points as your XP. Oh. And 1,000 eddies. Fuck. 1,100. Correct. 1,100 eddies. I heard parts of it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Calvary you. cheated us out of a bunch of cash. <laughs> Ooh, you're lucky I wasn't here, law man. <laughs> oh, but I was. I'm doing it down. <laughs> How are the kids? They are tired. So I'm the cool mom, allowing them to skip certain bedtime activities. I shouldn't let them be skipping. <laughs> it's all right. Give them a give them a win every once in a while. They need yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, but we'll take care well, of those things in the morning. <laughs> well, it's quitting time for me anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's all I got. Oh, thank you. Nice. That was a good game. It was. Yeah. This one okay. the, the, tonight was fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, my compliments go to. <clears throat> Uh, Mike Pondsmith, who wrote the short story on which this game is based. Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to see how a different group went through, you can read Black Dog. It is in the very back of the Cyberpunk Red Rulebook. Cool. And in the short story, it has an ambiguous ending. You never, uh, you never do find out for certain what was inside the crate. Hmm. Honestly, for delivery people, do we really care? Or are we just trying to get moving? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to finding some ET Atari cartridges and then meeting up with the, <laughs> uh, my nomad family. To, uh, this was to my stay plan. off the radar. This was, this was my plan. If uh, the group overwhelmingly chose uh, uh, one thing or the other in uh, the survey, the crate would have contained the thing that you didn't vote for. <laughs> <laughs> so if you voted that it was a bomb, it was going to be a body. If you voted that it was a body, it was going to be a bomb. <laughs> If you voted other, I, get... I, I still like mine. That was a, it was a body that was a bomb. <laughs> what if they voted for other? Ah, uh, yeah, it could it could always be uh, some raw nuclear material <laughs> to make a bomb out of, <laughs> or your own nice little nuclear generator. That's always possible. All right. Uh, thank you very much, guys. I'm going to sign out now. Oh, uh, are we you. going to do this again in two weeks? Luke, you're I'm busy in two weeks, weeks right? aren't you? Yeah. yeah so um, we can start right. a oh, chat in the Discord thread to figure out um, what else we could potentially do. Mm -hmm. If that's okay. 
So we might not, we're not going to be back in two weeks, but uh, if you go to the Haunted Log Discord, we will post updates there. Sounds good. Thank you, young gorilla chicken. And Sonia, if Nick's there, could you have him use his account to follow who we're rating, which is Single Step Gaming? They're playing Pathfinder 2E. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, yeah. If anybody else. We have else goblins because is... goblins are the best. <laughs> I was going to call you our chaos gremlin when you were th- like shining <laughs> flashlights and throwing flares. It worked beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, everybody. Thank you. And night. Let me set up this raid. Raid, 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 raid. raid. All right. We will see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.